People charged with crimes who face questions about mental competency sometimes wait months in jail for treatment. Jefferson County launched a new program this morning to address this problem and move cases forward. Nine News reporter Kelly Rinke was inside the courtroom to watch how this works. Kelly. Yeah, Kim and Tom, this program was created because of the backlog at the state level. More than 350 people are currently sitting in county jails waiting for restoration services. Competency courts like this one are popping up around Colorado to hopefully reduce those wait times. The idea is to release some inmates from jail so they can get competency evaluations in the community rather than wait behind behind bars for services. Here's how this all works. Six defendants accused of low level felonies, think assault, appeared before a judge this morning on a video call. All of them are inmates at the Jefferson County Jail. No cameras were allowed inside. But imagine this, a room filled with community providers, attorneys working on a plan. If a defendant is released, they will be connected to wraparound services, transportation, housing, sober living. The hope is this minimizes the wait for services at the state hospital if more people can get help out of custody. Hopefully, eventually impacting those who remain in custody that their wait time is less because we're treating these individuals through other providers. Now, defendants will have to check in every two weeks. There are several of these competency courts around Colorado. The first opened in Larimer County in 2021. Uh, since that first year, more than 150 clients received competency evaluations in the community. And Kelly, because you've reported on so many of these cases that are high profile murder cases and other cases, these are low level crimes and it really will make a difference in the system. Yeah, and also think of all the family members too. We had a father that um, spoke in front of the court talking about how much he loved his son and wanted to make sure that he got the help that he needs. These are people that are mentally incompetent that need additional services and families that are hoping they get that treatment. Yeah, yeah, you think about those family members that have been begging for help. Yeah. Thanks, Kelly.